I mean, I honestly think my, part of my part of my success with lyrics is I think I have uh, I think I have quite a good take on both sexes. Maybe because I grew up with two sisters, and also because of the relationships I had in my earlier life with women. I kind of and now having totally uh, I suppose I feel totally part of gay culture now. Um, but I feel like I have an understanding of both sexes. And I think an understanding of both sexes lyrically, and, for, and I think um, my ambiguity probably means I have attention from both sexes. Uh, and that has got to contribute to a, to a successful career, because you're talking about the whole of the population rather than one sex, you know. Uh, so much music these days is put directed completely at women. Um, because they're such a big part of the market now. And I genuinely believe that, that I've never aimed, I've really a always aimed for everybody, you know. Regardless of what I feel, because there were times in the last five, six years that I was very tempted to just say, you know what, forget it. This is too difficult. You're not going to come up with the album that you need, and you're, s and you're driving yourself crazy with it. And I was, and I was, and of course on top of that I was getting quite a kicking from the press. So, at that point in my life, with, with so much going on emotionally, uh, uh, watching, you know, being kicked about by the, by the media and the press and the industry, almost wishing that, um, and so, so almost wishing that my career was over, I just was, I was almost ready to give up. Um, but part of my motivation, a very strong part of my motivation to keep going, was that I always knew how terrible it would look to young gay kids that were worried about coming out. Um, not that they necessarily see a great parallel with a, a, you know, someone who was outed when they were 35, but I think it, is a very, it, would look, it would be a horrible way to leave my career, to leave people thinking that my sexuality took away my market, because I just knew that wasn't true. And I felt a kind of responsibility, not only to myself, but to young gay people to say, look, I, because I was felt absolutely sure that my market hadn't left me, so I felt it, it re really important to say, look, it is not damaging. If you, are, if you have ability, it is not damaging um, to have the, com the, the confidence to come out. Um, and that in certain parts of life, it really doesn't matter anymore. In certain careers, it really doesn't matter anymore. And I think just the success of the record this time round, and I hope it's continued success, um, will alleviate that perception, you know. I do believe in retrospect that there were three entities, you know, um, planning that particular uh, fall from grace, let's say. Um, and I think it was, I do think I was set up between Fleet Street and the Beverly Hills Police Force. I'm absolutely convinced that there was serious corruption going on. And I found out things in the week after that arrest that totally suggest that there was corrupt, major corruption going on. Um, but I think I was in there too. I think I was, subconsciously, I was so sick of the, the idea that people thought I was ashamed of being gay that I, I think subconsciously I put myself in the most shameful position I could think of just to say to everyone, look, you know, I'm really not ashamed. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but there are certain things that point to that in my behavior around that time, you know. That certain things that I wouldn't necessarily admit to myself at the time, because I wouldn't even admit to myself that my subconscious was that strong, you know, that it would put me in such a dangerous position. But, um, but yeah, I, I think I was definitely as much... Of course, it's my prerogative to do that, whereas it's not some... Fleet Street editor's prerogative to set me up with the L LAPD. But uh, apart from the fact that so many positive things came from it, I do have to admit to myself that I was absolutely, um, I was a lamb to the slaughter, but I knew it, you know.